Friends, in this video, we will try to understand how to write PGTAWM online examination. First, we will try to understand how we can reach the web page of the program where link for the online examination is available. There can be different ways. First, you go to Google Chrome, type Manage Hyderabad because your program is offered by Manage Hyderabad, National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management. From here, you can access Manage website. After reaching Manage website, there is one icon, Education. When you will bring your cursor to Education, a scroll down will appear. Third icon is PGTAWM MOOCs online program. The link for your program, PGTAWM. Click on it. Now you are on the page of the program and after reaching here, you know that you can access this online course. Second way is many times you will know that we share with you the link of the web page of the program. You can go to Google Chrome, copy paste that link and directly access the web page of the program. After reaching web page of the program or go to the Google Chrome, you know the manage website manage.gov.in enter. This way you can reach manage website, then the same education icon, PGTAWM, third icon under education. And this way also you can reach the manage web page of PGTAWM. Once you reach the page, you scroll down the page in the vertical toolbar. The second last icon is online course, which otherwise also you access for your reading material, your videos. Click on it. Now on the right hand corner, there is home subject sign in. Click on sign in. The same procedure. Here you will use your login ID details. Enter your ID and password. Click on sign in. Now again at the right hand corner, home subject in my account. Go to subjects. For example, if you want to appear for 101 conceptual and regulatory framework, click on it. Access course, this blue icon on the right hand side. It is the same page where the entire reading material, videos, quizzes are aligned. Scroll down the page. At the bottom, mock test is given. In place of mock test, the link for the online examination will be available as per the exam schedule already shared with you. So by clicking on that, in this case, I'm accessing mock test. In your case, it will be your online examination for this particular subject. So you have to access a particular subject as per the examination schedule already shared with you. Once you go to this page and you start the quiz, your questions will appear. So for each subject, there are 30 multiple choice questions. If you are appearing in 101 conceptual and regulatory framework from the subject, there will be 30 multiple choice questions. There is no negative marking for each correct answer. You will get two marks but there is no negative marking for a wrong answer. And these 30 questions are required to be completed in 45 minutes. So maximum marks are 60 and passing marks are 50%. 30 at least you have to score to qualify the online examination for a particular subject. 
at the bottom of your question paper there are two icon available save and submit if in between you have attempted a certain number of questions and you want to save that that provision is there and after completing the exam you can submit it otherwise after 45 minutes the system automatically will take it as submit if you are not submitting so within 45 minutes if you have completed your paper before 45 minutes you can submit and uh, that's all is expected from you so this way you can complete your uh, online examination friends one more thing that you have to remember from this time this time means uh, october 2022 online examination we are again uh, going to introduce this window of eight hours so that means i mentioned that you have to perform a particular exam within 45 minutes but that 45 minutes can be accessed within a larger window of eight hours just to provide you more convenience just to provide you more flexibility so just for the purpose of understanding assume that the window of eight hours is starts one o'clock on the day of exam one plus eight it will go up to nine pm in the evening so your window basically of eight hours is from one pm in afternoon will go up to 9 pm late evening so during this eight hours of window for window and uh, schedule you have to refer to the uh, information provided at the web page of the program but let's assume that window for you or uh, the seventh batch first semester examination is on 18th and 19th october so on 18th you are having two subjects 101 102 so for these two subjects on 18th october window will start say for example 1 pm will go up to 9 pm eight hours during these eight hours you can anytime access those 45 minutes so just to provide you some more flexibility many of you are working some of you are enrolled for some other regular program just to provide you some sort of flexibility convenience we have created this eight hours of window so during those eight hours you can log in anytime say for example one o'clock window starts and for 101 you are logging in exactly at 1 pm so once you log in you start attempting 101 exam you have to complete this exam within 45 minutes maybe somebody who is logging in at 1 30 his 45 minutes will expire at 2 15. so once you start attempting a particular exam you will have 45 minutes only within those 45 minutes you complete your exam submit it if you are not submitting it system will automatically take it but you can access those 45 minutes anytime during these eight hours second you also have to understand that 45 minutes you need to perform an exam so your window will close at 9 so at the most 8 15 you have to start attempting the last paper because suppose you log in at 8 30 so then that 45 minutes will not be applicable because your ultimate window of 8 hours will close at 9 pm so even if you are getting slightly late you at the most log in by 8 15 so that you have sufficient 45 minutes to attempt that paper one more thing uh, i just want to mention here many times it happens that uh, maybe because of some technical issue or maybe network issue candidates find it difficult to log in so and you approach us for some sort of solution but again suppose our window is starting 1 pm will go up to 9 but office support will be available only up to 5 5 30 so i'll request you you try to attempt your papers during that time so in case you are facing some technical problem we can provide you the support so for example you log in at two o'clock you face some problem you approach us we can approach our it team and get it resolved but suppose you you uh, attempt at eight in the evening then we that kind of support we may not be able to provide but still that window is available i'm just speaking about if that flexibility is available with you to avoid those remote or exceptional possibilities otherwise normal course eight hour window is available with you you can log in anytime during this eight hour window 
and uh, perform your exam but if you are not having uh, any compulsion to attempt only during late evening hour better would be to try to complete it during working hour so that in any remote case you need some sort of support we can provide you that support and as i mentioned this video is only to uh, help you understand the process for your schedule what is that eight hours window available to you what exactly is the schedule for all those details please refer to your uh, please refer to the back page of the program and also to the communication uh, at your registered email id so this was briefly just to make you understand what this entire process of examination is what is the meaning of 45 minutes and what is the meaning of this eight hour window thank you